This is Twit. What was your favorite classic console? Oof. Uh, it, I, you know, I love an old Game & Watch. I gotta really go back to game those, and watch. those well, very specific, <laughs> those very specific, only played with one game, had familiar characters, but those really slow moving <laughs> LED guys. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm an old, an old enough man to wear the NES. I was the, the age and size to wear that terrible, terrible controller fit into my hand. I had the NES Max. I was lucky. That had a very weird, uh, like rotatey ball. I don't remember the. Oh NES yeah, the Max. NES Max was a really. It had turbo buttons installed on there as oh, well. Oh, I remember that officially. now. That's that larger kind no, of that arched was, controller. So right? no, that was it was small. The advantage was the big one. Oh, that, we don't that was have the big... any of these old controllers yeah. with us. I'm so sorry to I say. I remember the advantage. That was a cool. controller. But you know, it, no, the NES has that soft spot, and I really do think those sort of first early games where you really solved and did there something big really matter to you. So I'm assuming for you that was banging stones against a wall. <laughs> Not quite that old. I don't know, you know, for me, my jam when I was a kid was the Commodore 64. It wasn't even a console. It was that computer was such an amazing gaming computer. That was the only reason I had a Commodore 64 was I mean, because of the, the amount of games. And if we were in a different country, it might have been uh, the uh, PC. Uh, the PC engine was PC huge in engine, Japan, yep. uh, which is we know better as the Turbo Graphics here in the States. Right. Or if you're in the UK, something like the ZX Spectrum, or as they would say, the ZX Spectrum, uh, kicked serious butt in the 80s because there was this huge boom for uh, computers are educational. So, right. so many kids in Europe, especially the UK, had these computers, and companies like Rare really came up by making games for the ZX. Yeah. It's a sort of interesting where you came from, what consoles were region-specific up until sort of Nintendo took everything over and sort of snowballed into a more globally united phenomenon from there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I had to pick a console, Super Nintendo would definitely be right near the top. I spent so much of my time playing Super Nintendo games. Absolutely so agree. Perfectly, uh, perfectly apropos that we are going to focus a little bit on the Super Nintendo. We've got a console in here. Uh, and the idea here is if you've got these old consoles, a lot of times what you're getting out, you might be getting a composite or a component output. RF if you're in a real bad place. Yeah, if you're in a real bad place. We don't have a, a way to show you know, how to convert that. But you're going to need some way to get this into your TV. You know, and I know that I've heard of a lot of people who just have a collection of these old consoles. Mm -hmm. And that's all fine and good. But if you have no way to get it into you know, your, your modern HD TV, mm -hmm. or if you have a way but it doesn't look good, there are ways to improve that right, so right. that that conversion is done even better. That's what we're going to kind of focus on in this yeah. first segment. So um, so what we wanted to kind of start off with is, is kind of show the scale between OK conversion and amazing conversions. So that's what we're going to focus on right here next to the Super Nintendo. We have the Super Nintendo coming out composite into the Geffen TV, or is it Geffen? I'm not really quite sure. Composite uh, to HDMI scaler. And I mean, this is basically doing the conversion for you. You've got some some settings here to where you can set yeah. it up based on the requirements of your TV, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a little on-screen menu. We're not going to go through that. It's no. one of these really clunky things where you're clicking through. You can change the input and output resolution. You know, you've got like 576i, 1080p, right. a bunch of uh, smaller and bigger ones in between. Uh, but ultimately, a device like this is kind of doing uh, an inelegant job of taking this analog uh, input and turning it into the ones and zeros of HDMI digital output. Uh, and the result, I think, might just be good to flash on the screen of what it looks like. We're gonna, uh, we have currently <laughs> loaded Super Ooh. Mario World on here. That's, uh, yeah, you can see things kind of scanning a little bit. You can see... I mean, it's passable, I suppose. You look at it and you're like, yeah, I'm going to be able to play. We're not going to be doing a lag test, or an input lag test or things like that, for example. But essentially, you're getting a, a little bit of a blur. You've, it almost looks like it's coming from an old CRT. Yeah. So, but when we so we were testing this out, uh, we had a visitor stop by. Yes, Alan Cecil of Tazbot, and he's going to be on a future episode but, uh, very soon. But he was just in the neighborhood. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and he saw what we were doing. He said, "Uh-uh, we need to do something a little different." I'm going to go ahead for comparison's sake, especially since you're so bad at this. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and reset. <laughs> we're going to get back to the starting screen. I am going to switch out. Let's go, go again and just take a look. Don't press any buttons. Okay. Of just a sense of so just this. take it in. This and is the Jeff and TV composite to HDMI scaler, which I might add costs. Not Jeff and Geffen. Geffen, sorry. 
I'm thinking of the record label, uh, <laughs> which costs, by the way, right now you can get this on Amazon for about 213 bucks and you'll get this quality of, of conversion. But if we go to the top camera here, I'm gonna move the stuff around as I switch the cables out. Uh, describe exactly this model of guy we have plugged in here. This is the OSSC, and this is what uh, this is what Alan dropped off. This is the open. What does it stand for? The open. Hold on. It's an open source uh, scan converter. Right. And I mean, this is honestly, this is designed for conversion of of console games. Right. And what it, we've got specifically this start converter here which plugs in one end of the cable is very much like if you've got the the above camera. Hold on, let me get the, the one of the cables just fell. Um so this guy here is your standard Nintendo cable, your AV jack, uh, cable that plugs into a Super Nintendo and plugs and into an N64. N64 yeah. And I can't remember if GameCube has compatibility or not. But this was a standard one for a while, not the NES. And so same kind of connector is going into the Super Nintendo, but into this is the crazy, uh, much larger pin. I'm not going to pull it out just for the sake of our demos. Yeah, we've consistency. got it all running. And but there's, other, there's a ton of other inputs. So we've got... Um, We've got component in, we've got uh, VGA. VGA in, <laughs> but yeah, and then out, we've got HDMI out, we even have a separate audio out in a pinch. Uh, and so, with that shown, let's go ahead and, if can we flip to the Super Mario World demo that's running now? And I mean, it's like the, yeah, so go ahead and... Don't do, yeah, don't... Oh, don't, I guess we I gotta, can. This, See, now take Holy a look right cow, here. Now, dude. I don't know, we may be able to in post get a little before and after. Yeah, do like a little side at, by side. What we look at in the studio right now is absolutely none of that weird blurring or sheeting. We've got all the audio coming in clearly. Um, we've got the, the pixel scaling is really crucial. Um, I'm not going to go right up with a, mic with a microscope and try and be 100% sure, but sometimes you're going to get some weird shaping of pixels, and this is as crisp of an output as you're going to get. Again, I this mean, is this all is coming from solid. an analog system, all coming out as these really clear, nicely defined pixels. Um, I, I'm, I, and the, you're going to need someone who knows a lot more about exactly the output that's coming out here. But you can just see the difference almost immediately. That is fantastic. The, I yeah. feel like if you're putting together a uh, kind of a console museum, this ends up, like, it's a no-brainer putting these side by side. And uh, this was kind of, like like you said, surpri uh, surprise to us that Alan was in the area and, and could drop this off for, for us to see a before and after. <laughs> Here's the crazy thing. If you go to videogameperfection.com, you can find the open source scan converter and you can buy it. Right now it's posted for 162 euros. That translates out to, or sorry, not euros, pounds. That translates out to about two hundred and twelve dollars. That's a dollar less than yeah. what you'll pay for the the Geffen. You'll still need to get this, the start scale. cable to for to okay. complete the package. So that might run you a little more. But that's we, the reason we show wow. this. Number one, uh, because there's just different devices, so getting a sense of what they can do differently on the scale, but also you can mod systems to have different outputs. So you can go in and actually have HDMI out and RGB out modded into a system depending. And that's gonna vary system by system, how much work that's gonna be, whether it's worth the effort. Yeah. Now for some people, the answer is gonna be, you know what, I'll take my blurry old system. I just wanna plug it in and go, no big deal, and so something you're gonna get an image maybe better than that. Uh, the Jeffen, the Jeffen, Jeffen, Jeffen. I'm just gonna, <laughs> no, I'm gonna call it the Jeffen. At this point, I'm so thoroughly. I just confused. want to anger. I just it doesn't anger, matter. Like. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so there's that is sort of a level that you can go. But when you want to go for that pristine picture that um, that looks kind of like some of these classic small boxes that are coming out, but with no emulation. Absolutely, this is pure man. system. You're not running into any emulation troubles or tricks or things when you have it running like straight from a cartridge slot with the, the system doing all the work. So that's a sort of consideration of how far you want to go down that rabbit hole. And converter boxes like this do simplify the process. Because again, everything here is stock. We haven't mm -hmm. taken the Super Nintendo, we have not cut it open, we have not done anything crazy. We just have one new cable plugged into one new box, whoosh, to the HDTV. 
Uh, done. This is, a, this is a tight it does, piece of hardware. And this right does here. require its own power adapter, so just be aware of that, that you need one more power thing plugged in to use either of these boxes. And, you know, just keep that in mind. And you're, you're, that's not way too much stuff to add to a retro TV center, but it's worth noting you're getting into cable-y territory. No, totally. And, I mean, the truth is you're going to need some way to do this conversion. So, you, so if you actually want to get these consoles and buy one off of eBay and plug it into your system, if you have a TV that's anywhere near modern, you're going to need some sort of conversion. It really seems like price to quality. It really doesn't make any sense to go outside of yeah. this open source. But this is such a that limited. Thing is solid. This is a, a limited testing. We're not telling you that this yeah. is absolutely the way to go. That it's the perfect solution for the system you have, especially if you have an RF adapter as your limitation. If you don't oh, have that, RCA well, or difference. things like that. Yeah. And when you go back earlier than the NES, NES does support um, some RCA, but not uh, some of the older systems. So yeah. you know you have to keep that in mind. But you know, there's a process, and the result could look that crisp. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm like blown away by the quality. It's very nice. That looks pretty, really awesome.